Hi Allure, this is Bella Porch and this is my 10 minute beauty routine. The first product I'm gonna be using is Giorgio Armani um, Luminous Silk Foundations. Mixing these two together, it looks natural on my skin. So I'm just like mixing it. I use my finger because like, I feel like the warmth the warmthness of the finger kind of heats it up a little bit and mixes it a little better. And so I'm just like, okay, it, it looks it looks right. I don't know. And then I just like tap that in an area, and then I use this sponge. This is actually looking really good. And then put some in my forehead. I start with the cheeks because I feel like that's the important part. I usually break out around this area and so like I do those areas first and whatever's left over in my hand, I just use that on my forehead. With makeup, it's art so there's no really rules to it. Just like do it whatever you feel comfortable. It's your rules. It's, it's your face too so do whatever you want. And then we're gonna go with the Giorgio Armani concealer. I really like this one. It's like, it goes well with the foundation, but I just like put some under my eyes. Usually when I get a concealer, it's a little bit lighter than my foundation. Sometimes I get really bad eye bags and I kind of want to look like awake. <laughs> I'm done doing my concealer, so next I'm gonna go ahead and do the powder. This is the powder I used by Givenchy and it's really nice because it's kind of pink and I feel like the pink powder suits me the best way. I feel like an important thing is to shake it. Yeah, I mean, that's good enough. And I use this puff for my powder, just like, Take a little bit, tap, tap. So just tap it under the eyes. Just put some in there. I use this powder to brighten it up a little bit, like under where my eye bags are. So I don't look tired all the time. <laughs> Next up is this powder by Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm gonna be using this in areas that I did not use the Givenchy and so like my t-zone. I'm just gonna do the cheeks now After Like I'm finished with my full makeup I just take this with me throughout the day and just like touch up Because I sometimes do get oily when it's hot outside so it, it helps with like a flawless finish and that's why I use it I take it everywhere. Next is this contour palette. I've been using this for like forever and I've gone through like five of these. I usually just use the bottom part and I just like mix this two <laughs> together and then I and then I start right here. I have like a round face so I like to give myself a little bone structure. <laughs> just like a little jawline, oops. I kind of messed up right there, but I'm just gonna keep blending. <laughs> Don't judge me. You see the difference now? It gave me like a... Then I like to put some on my forehead just to give it a little bit of an illusion that I have a smaller forehead than I actually do. I feel like sometimes I wake up in the morning and I, I kind of see that I have a big forehead and then some days I'm just like, no, it's tiny. And then some days I'm just like, no, it's huge. I feel like big foreheads are cute though. Do not overboard the contour. I used to overdo my contour, so I know. <laughs> I think it looks cute right now. And then I take a small brush and I just like contour my nose. With this, I start right here and then I just like follow the shape of my nose really. And I don't really use eyeshadow. I use a contour, <laughs> a contour palette 
for eyeshadow. I don't know if that's weird. Like I said, there is no rules to makeup, so. Girl, do what you want. Voila. <laughs> After the contour, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. What I use is the Charlotte Tilbury brow pencil. It's called the brow cheat. I actually have a little bit of an amount left. That's how you know I use it a lot, but it's enough. I'm very picky with my eyebrows, especially when someone else is doing my makeup. So I usually do my own, but I don't really use brow gel or anything. I just kind of like follow the shape of my natural brow and then I just like go with the flow. <laughs> and then darken it a little bit and then i do the other side i feel like the brows shouldn't be too perfect and then i just brush upwards yeah that's good um next is the eyelashes i use this um i bought it from sephora it's called the French. It's very dramatic. It covers my eyelids and yeah, that means I don't really need to put eyeshadow. They're pretty long, but I like that. And I'm just gonna cut it a little tiny so it fits perfectly on my eyes. And I just cut like the outer part, just a little bit. I have this glue. I've been using it for a while from Duo. My tip for putting on strip lashes is just practicing. I think I put on this lash, right? Yeah, I did it. Now we're going for the next one. <laughs> I have shaky hands right now. I think that's the best I could do. And then next up is the eyeliner. I am using Givenchy eyeliner. If you know, you know, these are these are good. Put it in right here like that. And then I just like, sometimes I go underneath and then on top of the lashes. Like that. So we're done with the eyes. Now we're gonna go with lips. So I use this by MAC and it's the, the strip down. Um, as you can see, it's a little faded because I just like, I love using this and it lasts forever. I start at the top of my lip. I kind of overline it a little bit, but just a little bit because I feel like my upper lip is thinner than my bottom, but also who doesn't want to look like she has plump lips? I feel like everybody, everybody wants like an illusion of bigger lips, so. I think it's cute. Okay, moving on. Next is the lipstick and I use Charlotte Tilbury and it's, I think it's the Pillow Talk. This is one of my go-to lipstick. It just fits so well with like my natural lip color. We're done with that. I have dry lips. So I'm going to put the Fenty lip gloss on top of it. It's the Fussy. I just love this because it's so shimmery. Oh my God, I look so cute. And it smells so good, I wanna eat it. Why am I forgetting the most important part? The highlighter. If you guys know me, you know I go ham on the highlighter. I use this Fenty Beauty um, highlighter. <laughs> it's funny. Um, I was opening it and then my thumb accidentally pushed the highlighter and now I have like this big dent. But this is the, the Sandcastle and the Mint Mojito. I usually use the Mint Mojito in between my eyes. I try not to go too crazy. <laughs> But like, sometimes I go too crazy. Today, I'm not gonna do that, of course. And I kind of like just blend it in. I just love highlighter um, because, I don't know, it just makes my eyes brighter. Especially if you're trying to do like 
anime eyes, which I love. Last but not least, this blush by Pat McGrath. Just use this, just mix it. And then, also sometimes I go overboard on blush. I just love blush. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, and I put it like on my nose too. Like that. It kind of looks like I'm cold. I like the illusion of being cold. Like this, like, ah, oh, I'm freezing, give me a jacket. Of course, the final touch is highlighter on my nose. Um, I should put some right here. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so cute. Oh. Bella, the red nose who? So that concludes my everyday makeup routine. What do you guys think? <laughs> Thanks for watching my 10 minute beauty routine.